Hey guys, Krieg here. Welcome back to more Spider-Man Web of Shadows. In the previous episode, we went after Black Cat and have now got her as basically a new main character who's going to be leading us and giving us missions, unlike the Cage, because I chose the dark ending, but also showed off the light ending. I know that for a fact because this is, because this is the day. It's, it's actually a few hours until this video is supposed to be coming out very organized as always but yeah today we're just going to continue on and get so shit some missions done <laughs> so let's go on in so you ready to rain on kingpin's parade do tell fat man has built this high-tech army and tonight they're launching a bunch of heists heist your specialty all right go on he's got some scheme to take out all these high-tech firms steal their technology computers data all that stuff did he ever mention why? He's Kingpin. He's an evil crime lord. What do you expect him to do? I expect him to stay home and eat his seven meals a day. <laughs> Cute. Anyway, these high-tech thugs are already out in the city. Then it's time we thump some thugs. Okay, two things. One, all these heists are at high-rise office buildings. Two, he's got these big heavy guys that can walk on walls. Tell me about these heavy wall-walking things. Kingpin has equipped a bunch of his baddies with these suits of armor that give them the ability to walk up walls. You've got to knock them down. I'll do what I can. All right. Uh, wait, let me see. Shot up by Peter Parker. Okay, I want to hear this. Look at you, Mr. Superhero. Hey, Felicia. How do you do it? Go back to being just plain old Peter Parker. I mean, I. What? You're out here in the costume, swinging around in your amazing, spectacular, ultimate Spider-Man. But you go home at night and you take off the super duds and you're just Peter Parker. Do you have any idea how bad I'd smell if I never took off this costume? I think you're missing my point. Cat, it should be obvious by now that I'm missing your point. When you do what you need to do as Spidey, you go back to pretending to be normal instead of being who you are. I are... Peter Parker? No, you are Spider-Man. Remember that. You deserve a new and better life. You actually sound a bit crazier than usual right now, Cat. You'll understand what I mean someday. You'll see. You're asking me to leave everything behind and just be Spider-Man. Hmm. All right, well, I didn't know that she knew about Spider-Man being Peter Parker. That's why I was really confused. Okay, so now we have to just take down tech heavies and all. This will be interesting. Let's see. Are these the heavies? Oh god, we've all got guns. Oh, shh. Oh. I thought I failed a mission. Thank god. Alright, so. Wait, where's the. Civilian. I kind of makes me really nervous because I've been used to playing the Batman series in the last while, and basically this compared to the Batman series is just you know you can take so many more hits and all, and it's like so stressful because like in the Batman series it's like five bullets you're dead and it's like oh god what's happening? So, okay, let's see. Where are we going here? Is this the way? But yeah, it's so much fun. I, why am I looking around for a chat again? <laughs> I did that in episode one. I have been streaming a lot recently. If you've not noticed, I've been doing quite a few streams. Because I've been enjoying streaming, actually, all, um, quite a lot. I did a very fun, um, what's it called, Mario Kart 8 stream yesterday. The thing is, like, whenever I start streaming, it's like all my friends go like, Oh, can I join? And I'm like, no. And then I let one of them join, and then all of them join, and it's like, oh, what have I just started? <laughs> Why? Okay, well, let's now take down the wall drills or whatever they're called. Okay, no, let's change the... Let's do a bit of, let, Let's get back in black, I think. So, here we go. I want to take down both these... Okay, there we go. We're both dead. EZ. Boys. Also, I'm very glad I found out how to run on walls in the last few episodes. That's good. That helps so much. 
<laughs> whenever you learn that part. But either way, I, I'm not sure if I've actually really got a story to tell at the moment. I, I don't have any on like my immediate mind for some reason. Uh, well, I guess I can talk a bit more about my charity live stream because everything's kind of been announced for now. Um, for people who don't know, it is... Um, the charity live stream will be starting on the... Watch um, let me think, what's it? What's date? What's date? The 8th of July, which is Friday, for people who don't know. And it will be going on for 24 hours. I'm going to try to get a lot of things in. There will probably be a Paper Mario. I think that the main game I'm going to be playing is Super Mario 64 DS. I think, anyway. I haven't really fully decided. Wait, where's the tech heavies? Oh, are those? Oh, they're the ones in the walls. Oh. Well, rip. I've been going for the wrong people. That is a rip moment. That is definitely a rip moment. Okay, we'll take it. this guy to hospital instead. And my dog will stop being annoying. Pepe. Stop it. Please. But. Okay, let's see what there is. Ten red points. Oh no, we can't have red points. So we're going for dog points. Well, we've got to kill a few civilians, I guess. Okay, where the hell are these things? Oh, there's a wall drill. <laughs> I, thought, I thought a wall drill was a weird name for an enemy. Holy god. Okay, I did the right thing. Oh, it scared me. So, over here's another wee emblem. I don't know what these emblems do. It's a thing. I did read that someone said you should collect them all, but I'm not collecting them all. To be fair, I think there's only like 12 levels, so if I'm halfway, without trying really, pretty easy. Well, I'm about halfway, but I'm not like halfway through all of the things, if you get me. Wait, what, what the hell is this? Okay, well, I'm guessing these flashing ones are the ones I'm supposed to be going to. If I'm not mistaken, let's have a look. Am I right? I'm not sure yet, or unless we're on top of the building. Seriously, where the hell are these guys? Ah, there he is. There you are, bruh. Bruh, please. Oh, we're spraying. Finally, I've actually got, you know, a bit of fun here. Here we go. So, how are you guys doing today is my main question, just because I have been doing pretty good, if I don't say so myself. Oh, there he is. Easy. Now you're on the ground. And now you're on the wall. Why would you run? Why would you run? Oh, and there's a drill as well. Oh, hype. And there you go, he's gonna be taken down now. And take down the drill. Ah, uh, we're about halfway through this. You know what, I might just cut until all of this is done, honestly, because this otherwise will take far, far too long. So, I'll see you guys all whenever I've got them all. Peace. Except for we emblem here, if I can get it. Bam. And another we emblem. Bam. And another emblem. And another emblem. And yet another emblem. If I can get it. Bam. And another emblem. And there we go. All of these have been done. I'm just going to leave these enemies. Because let's be honest here about the drill for nothing. Oh. And there's these guys. And guess what? I did. I actually checked and remembered what the things the button was for this. It was. I kept on pressing square. But it is triangle here we go well that's also because I also had to play for the star of the game again to like get the light endings which is gonna be very hype whenever it happens but here we go back up to black cut let's go on nice work spider-man now what shall be your reward I'm sure you'll think of something mutually rewarding I was thinking that we need to find the source of Kingpin's little toys. I agree. You have a scheme running around that pretty little head of yours? 
If you could bring me a part or two from one of their gliders, I could take it to a fence I know that specializes in high tech. And he'll be able to tell us the source. Yes, she will. Then we can go break all of Kingpin's stuff. I like the sound of that. I'll keep my eyes open for any drop parts. All right, so guess what we're gonna be doing is this. So I guess here I will be talking about another one of the lovely um, Pax East stories, and I guess let me think. A lovely Pax East story, I guess, would be just generally what I did whenever I was at the convention. So like day one, it was kind of just like sourcing out things, just looking around. And I think a lot of it was just me and, um, what do you call him? What do you call him? Jesus, that's how you pronounce, that's how you introduce a friend of how many years? Um, me and Bobbery kind of, or me and Max, if you all call him, because my name is not Bobbery, is what he used to always say in packs to us all. But, um... Me and Max kind of just went to the Nintendo booth for a while, and, well, I just kind of left him at one point. Plus, we went to the Mario... Oh, that's actually a good story. We went to the Mario Kart 8 tournament. There, so, the fact was that... Oh, here we go. I... No, I just want to beat these guys, because they're very satisfying to do these jumps on. But, yeah, we all went to the Mario Kart 8 tournament. And, of course, someone... Some of us... Or more prepared than others. So Sam had been practicing, I think, for his tournament and all. And did all this. And he never told us one specific detail. Uh, it's kind of an important detail to, like, tell off, I think. It was a detail that, you know... Let's just say... Whenever you're playing in the Mario Kart tournament, you're not given pro controllers, you're giving given Wii remotes and only if you know about that fact you should bring your pro controller. Sam knew about that, didn't tell us. Actually I didn't even know about the Mario Kart 8 tournament, well actually I think we spoke about it once or so before we went but I didn't even know about it until I got there. I'll continue this after talking to Black Cat here. That component you found should lead us right to the source. Good. Hey, I got a little tip about something about to go down at the Daily Bugle. Hmm, my favorite rag. Okay, what's up? Kingpin's sending a team there. I don't know the specifics. And how do you know this? A little birdie told me. Cute. Cat caught a little bird. Little goblin, actually. But he did sing. Okay, enough of the metaphors. I'm heading for the bugle. Alright, so let's head down to the bugle. So, what actually ended up happening was... But we're all put into separate teams. Um, it started off, me and Sam, like, um, the groups were, it was about 20 teams or something. And we were all, like, put into specific ones. Except for me and Sam. Me and Sam were actually put into the same group for the two matches me and him were in. Because I got put out second round bats later on in the story. Oh, God, this, I, I've never realised until this playthrough how bad this camera is. But basically, um, Max was put into a different, was put in a grip in his own, Josh was put into a grip of his own, and me and Sam were in the group together. And what happened was that, I don't know how, well, I think Josh and Max both went, came in last place in their match, and then I was, I came in second place and Sam came in first place, which meant that we got into the second round. So that was round one. Um, the guy who we were playing against were extremely nice people as well, I'd like to point out. And, yeah, we all kind of got along, and I was like, me, I remember the guy who, I can't remember if he came in third or last, but I was talking to him, I was like, oh god, well, I'm going to be coming out last, and he's like, yep, same here, and I'm like, maybe better man win, and all, we're laughing, and Sam was like, obviously, being very competitive in his Sam, Samuel way. And of course, I always got, I always butchered Sam's last name, which I won't say, because he'll probably get salty if I say it out loud. But, yeah, I, so it was Moo Moo Meadows was our first uh, match, which was really good for me, because that's a really easy map to play on, especially even if a Wii Wheel. Plus, um, I used to play the Wii Wheel in Mario Kart um, Wii, which meant I did have a bit of experience in Moo Moo Meadows with a Wii Wheel, which 
also made things slightly better, which was extremely good. And I went on to the second round and it was the Electrodome and I'm like, yeah. And I can't remember if I came in further last beer way I came out, went out that round. And then, later on, and Sam just kept on playing, of course, Sam had, Sam, uh, first of all, had the knowledge and the skill and the pro controller may I add, to get into like the semi-finals or something, yeah it was the semi-finals, and he was placed up against Abdallah Smash, and of course by the time, Josh and Max, who had left previously because of, they got a bit bored because they were waiting around, I was like, yeah we'll wait around. I did leave a few times because I went to get a drink and I phoned someone I think and went on Twitter and all and updated everything. I may show off a few photos of the event and all. Uh, yeah, I'll show off me and Sam's photo which we took at the event. There was like one selfie of me and Sam and um, Sam's picture of the event room. But either way, yeah, I'll continue what happens after we go through the speaking here. I've got a feeling that the bugle is not the target. Alright, well, now we've got a time limit. But either way, yeah, Sam got into the semi finals, and I was against like, Abdal Smash. And normally, the way the Mario Kart tournament worked was there was one match. Um, and first and second people got in, got past, you know, the rounds, and it was going into the semi-final, so, it, obviously, they upped the stakes a wee bit, it was three matches, and the top two players from that got into the finals, and Sam was then put in too. Clever, using the bugle as a false lead. What the hell was was that cutscene, may I ask? But anyway, yeah, Sam was then put into a thing with Abdal Smash, which was absolutely hilarious, because I think he either, I can't remember if it was three or four people, but either way, Sam came further fourth um, in almost every race. I think he beat Abdal. Oh yeah, there's one where he almost beat Abdal, and then, um, and then obviously, he, uh, there was something like a blue shell happened, and, Sam lost, and all you see is Sam, because obviously it was a, it was a, it was more of a public event. It wasn't just with us, so just saw Sam kind of hold in the swears. I was like, oh my fucking god, and he got like really depressed mode now. And I think at that point, like me and Josh and all, we were well. I think we were actually being a bit sympathetic. We were all like, oh, that was unlucky and all. And uh, like Abdal just goes up to Sam as soon as the match ends and hands him a business card and I think that just makes everything so much better, doesn't it? It was the fact that he handed him a business card and Sam was like, Oh, thanks and just kind of went over to us. And that's why whenever we we like trigger Sam on on the computer and all, well, on Twitter and all, except for the fact that, like, his main account's down. I remember, like, a few days ago, me and, um, Brooklyn, I, Brooklyn was trying to trigger him about Mario Kart 8 or something, and I was like, okay, just give me five seconds, I was like, well, at least he didn't lose to Abdal, and then he went through long rage mode, so, obviously, if you want to trigger him, just do that. Return fire! Keep them busy! They're surrounding the building! Get to the bombs! They're trying to blow up the courthouse! Okay, well, so yeah, basically Sam then got a bit, let's just say, he got a bit annoyed because of all that, but it was all fine, it was all just like for fun, I think. 
Um, yeah, everything just kind of happened as it did. Sam went out. Well, he at least made like far further than us, but at the same time, even the person who's like, I don't really know how to, um, was Rose, I don't really know how to pronounce it, though I like butcher I think, but he's kind of like, well, basically, he's a guy named me, um, told me to sign up for my network, who's from my network and all. I met him at PAX and he is in my vlog whenever that happens. Oh shit, there's a bomb. <laughs> oh, it's gonna blow up on me on it. <laughs> But yeah, even he was like, oh, Sam, wow, are you actually serious about, like, bringing the <laughs> If ever it was like me, Josh, and Sam, Max wasn't there. Max was doing something else, I think. And we were all just, like, kind of taking the piss out of Sam. And we're like, oh, you brought a Wii remote? A nun, not a Wii, a pro controller of you and all? Like, what, cheat? And he's like, no, I'm not cheating. And I remember just, like, that, the guy, I'll say his name, Michael, was just like, oh, Sam, what a cheat, and me and Josh just started laughing, he's like, no, 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 and then I think Josh was even like, oh yeah, well, Sam cheats and everything, like, have you looked, um, even closely at our verses and all, Sam always has some way to disadvantage all of us, and Sam just gets, Sam gets pretty pissed or stuff like that, either way, Sam came, um, I think he was, Third or something in the first I know the way it happened. The way they said. God damn it. Okay, there's. Oh, right. There's. Um, ah. There's eight bombs. I thought it was infinite bombs and you had to take out all the enemies at the same time. Alright, that makes it a bit easier. That does make it a bit easier and I'm happy about that. Oh, but either way, yeah. It was just all good fun, and I would do the Mario Party tournament again another time. But it is, and it was so much fun to do, and I must add. Even though I, I hadn't played Mario Party at that part point for like, probably close to a year. No joke. Um, I've kind of got back into it, back into it now, as you saw by my most recent streams, because people have been talking. No, I'll tell you what really got me back into it. It was when Joshwell, who, who's Thomas J. Ashwell, if people don't know who I mean, um, because I just call him Joshwell for some reason. He was just like, oh, um, do y'all join me for a Mario, because he records like weekly Mario Party 8, and I don't think it's actually out yet, well, that I know of anyway. And yeah. So that's like the time I got back into Mario Kart 8, I could say, you could say. So that's what really got me back into it, and yeah. And I'm having so much fun, I streamed it, but I'm not sure I'm going to do much more streams of it, because as Josh said last night, streaming Mario Kart 8 is kind of the same thing over and over again. And I will agree to that, because it did get slightly monotonous after a while. Can I throw this off? Oh, yes, I can't. Oh, one really rip. What is this? God damn it all. Defeat the mechs. I remember this part actually being challenging, so. I'm not sh Oh, I'm not sure what to think of this yet. What I remember, anyways, if I was challenging. Let's see. I'm gonna try my best, you know, not feel this like I did before. Well, at least now you can't do ranged attacks on me. Oh, shit, but the other one can. <laughs> oh, no, he can because he's got a rocket launcher on him. That's great, isn't it? I am getting a bit concerned about the courthouse health. Oh, yes, that was so good. 
So here we go. I am concentrate a bit more than I did. And well, why can you not stun now except for taking out his gun? Well, yeah, see, we've just turned the gun around. Okay, well, this. Ow. Wait, really? Is this not gonna blow up? Well, I'm gonna run away from her just in case. That's why I thought it was a good day anyway. I'm just worried in case other people come in. Yeah, it does blow up, good. Do I just kill a few enemies? Nice. Okay, well, this is going better than I did the first time I played for it anyway. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, really? I can't. Okay, I can't see it. It's it's so hard to see in like these type. Of <laughs> Look at this. This is. <laughs> oh my god, this is so glitchy. This is so glitchy. Oh, wow, really? That is so good. That was so easy. Oh, yes. Wow, my god, that was just. Pure. I've. <laughs> I found that. I, I was kind of worried whenever I got to this part. It's like, okay, I remember this part. This is like one of the parts of the game I remember because I did die a few times in this. What the hell? Oh, really? I have to take them out. I have to make. Okay, apparently they can recover that part. I thought that was just time to get away from. The exploding mech, if I'm completely honest with you. I am not extremely disappointed. I'm just gonna take him out this way. This just seems easier, honestly. There you go, done. The mechs are done. And where we go? The mission is complete. Jesus, these guys are still here. I thought they ran away because their mission was blown for onwards. But, but that's really the last part where I was talking about like Sam Lawson. That's pretty much the end of the story. Nothing else happened after, unfortunately. It was just, you know, uh, we didn't mock him a wee bit. He mocked, he mocked us for going out earlier. You know, just the normal us talk, really. And yeah, well, of course we all kind of recovered from it. <laughs> it, it wasn't like a traumatic experience or anything. It was just so much fun. I'd love to do it again sometime. If we ever do, if I ever do go back to PAX, if it's next year or more than likely two years time, I would love to do it again because, you know what, it's so much fun. Talks, talks all in all was so much fun because I got to hang out basically with my friends. I'm not, I'm not, it probably was, as, it was probably as good as that for them as it was for me, but it was extremely good for me because normally whenever I talk to them, I only have limited time and it's during the day and all, it's during the, like pretty much midnight and all whenever I talk to them mostly because of time zones and because I was able to talk to him all day. Which kind of made everything so much better, in my opinion. Jeez, I'm finding... I just love the way, and like, last episode for a laugh, I just call these extremely rare emblems. For the obvious joke, they are everywhere. And that isn't even anything. Over I'm not even over-exaggerating. Look, there's two here. I thought there was a third one. But like, seriously, what is happening? But yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to go to PAX again sometime. Not sure if I could like afford to. It was expensive, of course, because you know, Boston for a weekend. That just tells you all, doesn't it? But either way, thank you guys all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you guys all next time, where we're going to be talking to Black Cat and finding out more missions on how to take down the Kingpin. So hopefully see you guys all then. Bye.